Welcome to Specific Love. I love French cleats and if you look behind me you can see a bunch of the holders and things I've made using French cleats. They're easy to move around and easy to hang up your tools. But there's only really one downside to it. It's good to have a table saw so you can make these long straight 45 degree cuts. But not everybody has a table saw so today I'm going to show you how to make some of these French cleats without using one. Let's begin. Potentially the easiest way to cut a French cleat without the table saw would be with a circular saw. Now if you're going to do this on a long board, I suggest getting something like a 1x8. And the reason why is you need to put a straight edge along this and you just need to be careful and be safe. If you use small pieces of wood, there's a real chance that you can just lose it and get cut. I don't want you to do that. Also using this, I do suggest cutting off the edges first and then going back, resetting your saw and then cutting the flat surface or the straight surface down the middle. By doing that, it does create three cuts. Yes, it is a little bit more than you probably would use or need, but it is a little bit safer. Now to do the first cut, set your circular saw at a 45 degree angle and then set up a nice straight edge like I have here with this old level, clamp everything down and we're gonna make our first cut. Now we have two long boards, both of them with a 45 degree cut on one side and flat surface on the other. And once it goes up on the wall, you have a nice French cleat fit for whatever you want to mount. Now another option would be using a jigsaw. This definitely will not be as fast as a circular saw, but if you're real careful and you're real steady, you can turn the base and make a slow, straight, sharp cut. Let me show you how. You also need to set up a nice fence or straight edge here so that you can run the jigsaw along the side and make sure you have plenty of room underneath so that you don't hit anything. One thing you will have to avoid using the jigsaw. If you notice here, my base actually started coming away from my fence. That is a big no-no and will not work. So when you're doing this, make sure you keep plenty of pressure towards the fence so that it doesn't come off. Now as you see here, this cut isn't perfect. I tried to do this really quickly for the video, but unfortunately I should have took a little bit more time and paced myself. Over on this side, which I did slow down some, you can notice the cut is a lot more accurate, but over here, especially where I messed up initially, you can see that the blade was flexing a lot. You don't want that to happen, otherwise this is not gonna be a very good French cleat. But if you take your time, looking over here, you can see it is done relatively well. So if you take time with Jigsaw, you should be able to have a nice cut. Another option is to use a miter saw. And if you have a sliding miter saw, you can do a little bit longer pieces, but there are a couple ways you can do this. And potentially this could be dangerous, so be very careful with this. Now your miter saw would be great to use for smaller pieces, especially for the backing of your cleats. But there's a couple ways. You could cut it small pieces like this, but there's a lot of potential as the blade is coming down that it is going to want to move. So that is going to be very dangerous with these smaller pieces. What I would suggest is getting a much longer piece, stick in here, clamp it down if you can, cut your 45 degree angle, then come back later and cut it to the size you need. That way you have a lot more control and there's less chance of it getting away and you getting yourself into the blade. And that is how you take a piece of one by eight lumber and turn it into four French cleat pieces on a miter saw. Another option is to use a bandsaw if you have one. In this case, it's just a bench top version. It's not very powerful, but they're also not very expensive. You can also use one of the larger versions, which would make this a little bit faster. Now, in my case, mine doesn't come with a fence, so I just put one on temporarily using some clamps in a wood that I knew was straight. And I'm gonna cut this piece out and create a French cleat. And don't forget to set your base at a 45 degree angle. And there's a very simple way to cut you some more French cleats. 
Now a real basic option to make friends cleats is to actually just hand saw it apart. Now this is just a basic pull saw and I do recommend this over in different types of hand saws because it you have a little bit more control. So for this piece of wood, I took a speed square and because it is from the factory at a 45 degree angle, I put it on here and I drew a line across. Then I carefully drew lines down the sides so I can have a little bit of a guide when I'm using the saw. In either case, you need to go real slow, real steady, and just be careful as you're sawing it apart. It's also sometimes a good idea to score it up just a little bit where you're going to start to cut so it doesn't end up being a rough start. go. French cleats with a handsaw. A French cleat is basically just a rip cut on any board. As long as you match up the same places that you just cut, they'll fit. And so you could have one on the wall, one on your tool, and you don't have to worry about everything being perfect. Even your angle could be slightly off and it'll still work great. Now if you want these to be really smooth just so they fit with other cleats, you can always take a hand plane and go over them just to make them nice and smooth. But again, you don't have to as long as the pieces you cut apart go together. Now what do I hope you picked up from this video is that everybody should be able to make themselves French cleats. It doesn't matter what tool you have, as long as you just take some time and some effort, you can make some really cool setups. And one final thought, if you don't have a table saw, but you can afford one, I do suggest buying one, not just for French cleats, but it does help you speed up in all of your projects. Just be careful using it and you'll have a great time working out in the shop. You're recording now, aren't you? <laughs> 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 <laughs>